Hey, Aspire fam, we are now done with the CrossFit Open and are gonna move on to more cardio-based workout programming. So day number one, we're gonna look at alternating between A and B. Your A set is gonna be three rounds of a 500, 400 meter row and 10 strict press at 95, 65. Our B round that we're gonna alternate between is three rounds of 1,000 meter bike, 800 meter bike, and 10 strict press pull-ups. So that is four time today, but the intentions are the cardio. Like we said, we're going to be a little more focused on that. So we want to really get after the row and the bike today. One thing we really want you to focus on other than just focusing and trying really hard on that row and bike is how long does it take you to do 500, 400 meter row? And how long does it take you to do a thousand, 800 meter bike? It's plus or minus two minutes or so, but I want you guys to kind of figure out your paces, really kind of look at that screen, find out what your pacing like and kind of know what you should be doing for those durations that way we can let that gr continue on throughout our programming and you can kind of know how long it takes you to do these things when we get further on in our programming so that's monday's workout let's get after it today remember our strict press we're all going to do strict press we can always just modify the weight um, so still doing 10 reps of strict press modifying the weight and then on those pull-ups we do have strict pull-ups, so we don't want kipping today. We could do banded strict, or we could do our inverted rows, our body rows um, with those. Those would be the best for variations, or maybe even an eccentric jumping pull-up. But probably stick to a strict pull-up, or a banded pull-up, or a row would be your best modifications for those 10 reps today. Let's get after it, and see you guys tomorrow.